Hello again everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to use a different fan with your power supply. I prefer my PC builds to be as quiet as possible, and this mod reduced the noise on my main PC significantly. Obviously I prefer to use small form factor parts, but this mod can apply to any PSU. Just make sure that the new fan you're using is the same size as the original. A soldering iron and some soldering knowledge can make this mod much cleaner, but isn't necessary in all cases. I'll talk more about that later. Finally, a quick disclaimer before performing this mod. If you perform it the way that I am, it will void your warranty, but I'll provide an alternative method to help you get around this as well. You'll want to start by leaving your power supply unplugged for some time to allow the capacitors to discharge so as not to shock yourself or damage any components. There's a lot of debate online about this time frame, from anywhere between 15 seconds to multiple days, but in my experience, 30 minutes is sufficient. With your power supply discharged, you'll need to remove any stickers that may be covering screws. I got annoyed with this step and just punctured my screwdriver through the sticker. It's not as pretty, but it won't hurt anything. Next, remove the four screws holding the top housing with the fan from the PSU. These can be Phillips or hex screws depending on the brand and model, so just make sure you have the appropriate tool or bit for the job. Next, carefully remove the top housing from the PSU. This may require some slight sliding or bending of the metal, again depending on the brand or model. Now, disconnect the fan from the header on the PSU. Depending on your brand and model, these may be using 2-pin 12-volt connections or a 4-pin PWM connection. With the fan and top housing freed from the PSU, you can now unscrew the fan from the housing and screw in your new fan. As you can see, PSUs use different sized headers than standard PC fans. This is where you can decide how far you want to go with this mod. If you don't have the knowledge or a desire to solder, or you do not wish to void your warranty on your PSU, you'll want to purchase adapters to run the conversion. If your PSU is using a 2-pin header and you're using a 3-pin fan, an adapter like this one will work. If you want to use a 4-pin fan with a 2-pin header, you'll need to use a 2-pin to 3-pin adapter with a 3-pin to 4-pin adapter like this one. If your PSU is using a 4-pin header, you'll want a mini 4-pin to standard 4-pin adapter, though your mileage might vary on this, as at least in Corsair's case, their pinout is different from standard PWM. This can be fixed by removing and rewiring the pins on either end. I'll have links to examples of these adapters in the video description below. I however will be showing off a different method, which creates less clutter and can be used with any fan and header, but it will absolutely void your warranty. Using some wire cutters and some soldering, I'll be creating my own adapter. You can wire the fan itself to the PSU, but as I plan to swap out this fan in the future, I didn't want to go through the hassle of wiring different fans multiple times for this mod. Make sure that you wire the fan or adapter based on cable color, not on location, as these indicate the wire's functions. If your fan is using black cabling, make sure to use another fan or a pinout diagram for reference. Now, with the fan or adapter wired and soldered together, you will need to mask off the soldered areas so they don't make contact. It isn't necessary, but you can also use heat shrink to clean this up as I did. Now you can connect your adapters or fan to the PSU. If you have any extra cable length, you'll want to make sure it's tucked away so it doesn't cause any interference with the fan spinning. After closing up the PSU, Make sure to use a pen or your screwdriver to test that the fan isn't making contact with the cable and can spin freely. Finally, screw the top housing to the PSU, and you're finished. Now, you can use fans with different colors or noise profiles with your PSU, adding to the aesthetics of your build and or making it quieter. 
I hope this helps some of you with modding your own builds. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this in the future, and thanks for watching.